Well, we were real quiet. We did things kind of quietly. We contacted all the churches and asked them, you know, to get in touch with the Vietnamese and try to at least get acknowledgement of the prisoners and get the names out and stuff like that. And after a couple of years, we got a little bit uh, antsy and nothing was being done and more men were being shot down. There was no inspection. And I had talked to uh, Ted Kennedy in the beginning when I came, left Jacksonville. And I didn't realize, because he was our senator from Massachusetts, <clears throat> and I didn't realize, but he was head of the detainee and refugee committee. And I think that's why they released Jim's name and picture, because he asked if you know he could float his name around over there. And I said, do anything you want. And at that time, the French underground was still there, Bernard Fall and whatnot. So he started asking, you know, what happened to Jim Mulligan? And also Jackie was going over to Cambodia. So she mentioned the name also to Prince Sihanouk. And I went up to Massachusetts and, you know, stayed there. But when we came back, we got settled and got in touch with all the wives that were in the area. We were quiet for a couple of years, and but we got organized. And the problem was that um, we were getting, you know, we weren't doing anything. Nothing was being done. So we finally decided, the group in, the, in Virginia Beach decided we wanted to go public. So we put together a letter and we went up and we saw Secretary of Defense and we told him, we will take responsibility. They're our husbands, and we want to go public. And of course, they couldn't really stop us. So that's when we came back, and I called the local paper. And of course, they were very happy to come and take a picture. And of course, I had to talk to the boys first, because I said, you know, once we go public, you're going to be living in a goldfish bowl. And I said, I want to make sure you're going to be able to handle this. And they agreed. And so that's what we did first. Uh, and then Sybil Stockdale was on the West Coast, and I was here on the East Coast, and we had a mutual friend. So she stopped by uh, for a weekend, and we met. She actually had met Jane Denton also and asked Jane if she would help get organized, and Jane just didn't feel that she could handle it. And she came and talked to me, and I said, absolutely, let's get going. So we, what we did was we got all the names. Uh, of course, we only had Navy. You couldn't get Air Force names, uh, but we did start and we organized everything. And then we started speaking publicly, anybody that would listen to us. And we got people writing letters and then we had the letter campaign.